I'm gonna tell you the five things that I hate about Breitling. Every day we live. Welcome back to the channel, Derek Manshake here. Five things that I hate about Breitling. I've owned two Breitlings in my life. The first Breitling that I owned was a Breitling for Bentley GT. It was the 44 millimeter case. It wasn't the massive Breitling for Bentleys that are very, very typical to have a 48 millimeter case. I could not rock a 48 millimeter case. I'm 6'2 and 155 pounds. There is no way. But after I sold that watch, I did upgrade to a Breitling Navitimer World which has a 46 millimeter case, but it's not as thick. It's quite thinner. I generally do like Breitling, but there's just those five things that I absolutely hate. The first thing that I hate about Breitling, their timekeeping isn't very accurate. My experience with Breitlings, their automatic movements aren't as accurate as other automatic movements. Mine always tended to be a little slow. It could be that my Breitling watches that I had just needed to be serviced, but they weren't that old. I didn't really think that that was too much of a contributing factor, losing maybe like 15-ish seconds a day. Over the course of a month, that's several minutes. The second thing that I hate about Breitling watches, they have all these special edition type watches and all these collaboration type watches, such as Breitling for Bentley and some of the other ones too. I understand that. You have AP that is the biggest offender of all of that and Rolex is starting to do it too, but I don't like it. I don't like the special editions. I don't like the watches that just try to jump on a trend, just try to be kind of fashion-y that are probably going to go out of style within two years. I think that just cheapens the brand. And I think what's really cool about these luxury watches, they are just so timeless. For example, you can trace this Rolex date just back for many, many decades, and you can tell that it's the same watch. Yeah, it's upgraded and it's higher quality now and everything's improved on it from the you know, 50s, but it's basically the same watch and you can tell where it came from. When these watch brands such as Breitling, such as AP, start to introduce all these specialty models, you kind of lose that. And I think that's the cool part of these really expensive luxury watches. The third reason I hate Breitling. From what I noticed, Breitling's decrease in value more than any other luxury watch brand when you buy it brand new. The decline in value from when someone purchases a brand new Breitling to when they want to sell it a few years later is massive. For example, my Breitling Navitimer World, brand new, it was around like 9,000-ish dollars. When I purchased it pre-owned a few years later, I purchased it for $3,500. So if you're interested in buying a Breitling, I don't recommend you buy it brand new. Just buy it on the pre-owned market from a reputable dealer. The fourth thing that I hate about Breitling is the really expensive, authentic Breitling watch straps. People who own Breitlings like to swap out the straps because it makes it look interesting. You're able to have like a crocodile strap, rubber strap, but to buy any of these straps, they are ridiculously expensive. Just a small strap made out of crocodile, $600. Just a rubber strap, $300. You're not getting anything. You're getting rubber, $300? That's ridiculous. The fifth thing that I hate about Breitling, and this isn't even Breitling's fault, there are so many copycat watches. Yeah, that's the case with a lot of high-end watch brands. But all these watch brands are now copying Breitling's having very large faces. There actually was a point in time where watch faces were no bigger than 40 millimeters. It was only the Breitling's that were over 40 millimeters. If you wanted a large watch, you had to get a Breitling. And the cool thing was is that if you were wearing a large watch, everyone used to know that he has a Breitling on. Breitling came out with the big watches because they were pilot's watches. And so pilot's- I can fly. I'm pilot. Can easily look at their watch and tell exactly what's going on on their watch very, very quickly. That was the whole reason why Breitling came out with these big watches. Now, all these watch brands are like, oh, bigger the better. Back in 2007, I had a friend that was in the mortgage brokerage industry and he had a huge Breitling Navitimer world. We went to a bar, girls would ask, hey, wow, what kind of watch is that? I've never seen a watch like that. Now no one would even say that anymore because you can get a big watch anywhere. Again, I generally like Breitling, but those are just the five things that I hate about Breitling. Now let me know what you think. Put that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe because I am incredibly insecure. I'll see you at the top. Came up from nothing. You can't tell me. Yeah, did it on my own. Check out my neck. Check out my wrist. Yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now I'm getting rich. I swear every day we live. Yeah, every day we live. Yeah, you can't tell me. Yeah, remember I was broke. Yeah, now I'm getting rich.